What's going on everybody? Gordon here and if this is your first time tuning into my videos, this is Aquarium Talk TV. Today's a great day. I'm out. I'm on the mission. I'm getting new fish. Um, the fish is being shipped into me from Nationwide Aquatics. Really appreciate them. Um, the, the fish is coming a lot quicker than uh, initially anticipated, so I'm even happier about that. Today is a great day. Follow me on my journey. Let's see what happens. I'm super excited for it. I'm on my way right now to go pick up the fish. All right, guys, so we're home and I got the package. Let's open it up, let's take a look and make sure, A, everything's okay. It should be fine. The package was only gone overnight. Um, it's less than 24 hours in shipping, so I'm not worried about it. And I've been assured that they ship well. So without further ado, let's get things rocking. Let's get it opened. It's kind of hard to do this with uh, one hand, but we're gonna do our best here. Holy, he taped up this part too. He told me that he packaged it up like a Brinks truck and uh, he wasn't lying. All right, let's open this up. Holy, did he ever package it up well? I think it's him. And he is good. Look at that. This is a freshwater tiger moray. He is looking amazing. Look at this guy. Wow. Super pumped. And so we're just gonna temperature acclimate and we're gonna go from there. But look at him. He's looking incredible. And I will drip acclimate him. Now I'm not gonna cover that process because it's pretty basic. You can find a lot of stuff all over YouTube regarding that. But he looks incredible. Look at him. All right, so keep in mind this scape isn't done yet at all. Um, getting this wood in, I got a lot of bark along the bottom of the sand. This is brand new sand, so I've got to vacuum that up. Um, there is a Royal Pleco in here making a mess. So just keep in mind, this is probably going to get redone three or four times, rescaped, and before I'm uh, okay with it. Upgrading the filtration on this tank to an FX4, and we'll see what happens next, but I think he's looking ready. He's definitely temperature acclimated. He's been sitting here for about 35, 40 minutes now. And uh, so let's start getting him uh, acclimated to the water. So not only was he double bagged, he was triple bagged. So shout out to Nationwide, man. Hey guys, so he's in, he's acclimated. Well, close enough. He's in the tank. Take him a few weeks, but isn't this tiger moray eel looking incredible? So this is the only true freshwater moray eel from my knowledge. And he is incredible. I'd say he's roughly a foot, 12 inches long at this point. Uh, this is a 75 gallon aquarium. It houses the Fahaka Puffer, Little Mitch, and a Royal Pleco and a Peppermint Pleco. Now the Royal is most likely leaving just because I can't handle Panax and uh, their poop, but in regards to him, isn't he special? Or she? I'll have to figure out how to sex these if I can. But I'm super excited. This has definitely been a bucket list fish and I'm happy to finally have one. Incredible, look at the patterns on it. Isn't that amazing? I'm so pumped guys so pumped feeding videos are about to get insane so if you're not following me over on instagram definitely follow me at aquarium talk tv um because the reels they're gonna get crazy you know i'll upload some shorts as well and i'll obviously update youtube but damn i'm pumped such a beautiful fish let's zoom in beautiful moray eel Super happy to finally have one of these. So now I have two eels, an Indian mud moray and a tiger moray. All right guys, so that's it. That's the end of this video. Thank you to Nationwide Aquatics for sending me this tiger moray eel. I'm super excited. I wanna update you guys regularly with this fish. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and liking this video. Comment, let me know where you're from and stay tuned for the next video.